Hey guys, and welcome back to Shattered Legacies with Stannis the one true king of the Narrow Sea. But, obviously as we all know, the true king of the whole of Westeros, but soon they will all see. But, we're an old man nowadays, and last time we did see some success, we took King's Landing, which was a very important thing, it gave us a nice boost of men, which is what we really needed, because um, we have a problem, and I'm not talking about Renly and his... White Kingdom of Shipbreaker Bay. I don't like that colour because that reminds me of our true threat. The White Walkers. Winter in the North. Currently they sit on 32,000 men. And this is what I kind of realised last time. You know, I always knew we were kind of in trouble. But I thought maybe you know, if we keep growing we might be able to stop them. They might be slowed down by all these individual provinces and stuff. But... It doesn't seem to be slowing them down. They're getting exponentially bigger and bigger at a faster rate than we are. So I'm really concerned. And obviously the East is its own thing. But just, just concentrate on Westeros for now. Um, Sanus has fought them before, obviously. He knows they can be beaten. But right now he just doesn't have the men to take them on. And everyone hates me. We can't get the allies. So this is a big concern not just for Stannis but for really the entire series and me. So guys, do not worry, if we do lose and everything falls apart and the world is destroyed by the White Walkers, a new series would begin instead. We'd probably play a year before the Clash of Kings when like Eddard Stark and Robert Baratheon were still alive. And what we would do is do another Shattered Legacy series then. And so because of that kind of being kept in mind, I think we have to defeat the White Walkers with Stannis. I don't think there's a choice. If we don't defeat them with Stannis, at least the ones in Westeros, there's no way we're going to be able to stop them. So I think this series may live or die based upon Stannis, which is in a way is kind of, you know, nice because he is, of course, chosen by Roller. So it would be nice to obviously try and win it with him anyway. But we're 53 now, a little bit older, and we don't have enough men. I need men quickly. My original plan obviously was going to be to just like, take these two, connect the lands there, maybe get enough prestige and take Tarth, have a nice little hug box here. Hugging Shipbreaker Bay. That would have been lovely, but that's going to take way too long. We need a thousand prestige to take Tarth. That'll take ages. And to do all that, it's just, it's such a small reward. When we got King's Landing, that was kind of the first big boost of men that we got. We need something like this, and the only other real claim that I have is the Storm's End. But Renly has more men than me, and of course, he may even have friends. He's not actually allied to the Tyrells in High Garden, which is lucky for us, but. Storm's End itself is 7,000 men. We probably can't capture Storm's End itself. So that creates a few problems here. And even then, is it enough men? We could potentially get 6,000 men from that. So that would be great. Um, if we had 6,000 more men, still would be difficult to defeat the White Walkers. But that's a massive boost from where we are now. So I'm just going to put it here, guys. If, if we die before we defeat the White Walkers... We're going to start the new series in the other ones, so do not be concerned. Also, I remember, it's not about the end of the journey. It's about the journey itself, the friends and foes we made along the way and stuff. It's been fun so far. I hope we can continue. I would rather do that, but it's definitely a concern for me. So I think Stannis, Stannis and me, I think we've, we've spoken. We agree. Something has to be done. Something big has to be done. And that is, we have to take Shipbreaker Bay, guys. We have to take the whole thing. And the only way I can think of doing that is to do what we've learned from King's Landing. We're going to have to shadow baby Renly and his family. Currently, right now, I'm down in the list for the Inheritors. If we can kill his kids and him, in the same way we killed Joffrey and uh, Tommen, we could inherit the whole thing. And the actual borders would not be too bad. You know, we could take that and connect it up, then fill in the gaps and stuff. It would actually look a pretty nice little kingdom there. So it, it's not a big deal for me. And I would say Stannis would do it. Stannis is willing to sacrifice his family, his health, and his san potential sanity to save the entire world. I mean, what are a few people? What What's like 10 people compared to the entirety of Westeros and potentially the entire world? Stannis knows there's only one answer here. We have to do it. So I, I do apologize if people won't be happy with this, but... I don't think we have much of a choice. And actually, there's a chance we could just kill Renly normally. So we'll see, but we need we need it quickly. We need to do this quickly. Um, but yeah, that's what I've decided, guys. If we can get that, we'll declare war on the White Walkers. Hopefully, we'll have time before Stannis dies. We may just die before then. We'll do the five characters randomly after that, and if none of them could defeat the White Walkers, 
We'll have to say that the White Walkers wouldn't destroy the world, but I'm hoping we can fight to the last. I want to fight to the last. That's what I want to see, personally. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can go. This is our only option, our last chance. Stannis knows they can be beaten. This may be the only way we can defeat them. And Stannis is willing to make the sacrifices. Slowly, slowly, surely, but surely, we're slowly becoming the TV show Stannis. <laughs> and how come the event hasn't popped up? The event last time I feel like popped up pretty quickly. Maybe it's different every time. A holy man has come to the court today to talk about the matters of faith. It soon became clear he held unorthodox views. For the holy fire, we can imprison him. Okay, reacts to the imprisonment. Okay, he'll react. I was still shaking with rage at the heretic's blasphemous words when he came up to me and said, Good work. Thank you, Furrows. I mean, he is also favoured, so I'm not surprised. Of course he thinks that. Um, Renly? There we go. I'm sorry, Renly. It is a... I mean, Marjorie wants to kill him. I could just wait and see. But I feel like we need to do it quickly. So, no, we need to do it as quickly as possible. Yeah, the White Walkers grow any bigger than they are. If they get to Winterfell or something, it may be unstoppable. So, I think we have to do it. I'm sorry, Renly. And there we go. Renly has died for reasons unknown. No one knows what happened. Mysteriously, mysteriously murdered. Who knows what happened? And his son, Narba. We'll actually kill the sister next. We'll kill her next. Because if she gets married and has kids or something... That could be a threat as well. The boy's going to stay a boy, so that's not a concern. But Renly out the way now. He can't obviously have more babies as well. Uh, the war is over. I think I can now get my family out of Hyden. Where are they? Call the family out of Hyden. There we go. Get the court out of Hyden. Sacrificial burnings as an offering to the Lord Light will gain me much favor. Okay, Grammerton. I'm sorry. And we need the piety. I'm sorry, Grammerton. Goodbye. Grammerton has been burnt at the stakes. Actually, talking about courtiers, we took King's Land in. We should have some new courtiers, shouldn't we? So let's go check through any people that might be useful. Uh, when it comes to Hand of the King, I think Imri Wilde would be best. He's not bad at the couple of things there. And also, he's a vassal. And he hates me, but maybe this might get him to like me a bit there. So we'll make him that for now. We'll improve defenses in Dragon. We'll keep on Dragonstone for a little bit. I'm not going to be King's Land in just yet. If we go to war with the White Walkers, they might be able to march down the here. So... We'll keep it like this for now. Uh, Balon Swan, of course, is still in King's Landing. You know what, Balon Swan? I think I might make you it. You're the same as him. I like the idea of that. Master of Arms will keep us Godry Farin. Master of Coin, Fenton Banefort is particularly good at that. We'll get him on the council. Master of Whispers, you are still the best, Mr. Clifton. And the other two should be fine as well. We'll keep Melisandre, of course. And our Maester, we do have another Maester, of course. So there we go. That's the council right now. Actually, do with bodyguards. Why is Balon Gri Why is Balon Swan? I better say Greyjoy. Why is Balon Swan my bodyguard already? Did it make him the bodyguard from Joffrey? I'm assuming that's what happened. But okay, he's a good he's a good fighter. Um, but we don't really have like a King's Guard or anything. You know, I'm not the King of the Iron Throne or Westeros yet. I may have the Iron Throne in King's Landing, but I'm not really the true king yet. So the King's Guard, I think, is not for us. Plus, I'm um, Stannis. I think we should have, um, flame. The flames. Oh, yeah, look at that. The, the crown, the little flames there. We'll call our bodyguards our flames. Like, there are flames, and they'll wear cloaks of, like, a fire red color. So, like, it looks like a burning cloak. Like, the colors all orangey, yellow, and uh, red all mixed together to make a kind of fire pattern. And we won't have a certain number. It'll basically just be if anyone's good enough, they can join. So we can have one. If there's only one guy good enough in the whole realm that I trust, he'll be our body, our only flame. And if there's like ten, we'll have ten flames. Is there anyone else? Oh, Lofa Brune. Yeah, he should be a good fighter. Lofa Brune. Okay, so here we go. We've got two flames then for now. Two bodyguards for our dear Stannis. Rowan reports have reached you regarding your master at arms. No, we'll... We'll, uh, he should for Yeah, I, I wouldn't stand for this. We'll forfeit his office. I may be going this far, obviously, to save the realm, but it doesn't mean I've forgotten about justice. That's the thing. It, it's weird, isn't it? Stannis is... He, he's willing to go far to get what he thinks is right and to win, but he also believes in justice. I don't know. It, it's, a, it's a debatable thing about how much, how just you feel Stannis is. I know a lot of people disagree and argue about it. 
God you found there can't be it. Lofa Bruno or Durham of Grinport. He has been leading a lot of armies, I feel like, before. We've seen him a few times, and he believes in the same gods. We'll make him it for now. There we go. Train children? I mean, how old are how old's my grandkids? Two years old? I think it's a, it's a little bit old. It's a little bit too early for my grandson. But they're not dying. You are not dying. Kill her. And here is the event. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. You're just... It's a sacrifice I have to make. I'm sorry, Princess Kasani. Your family, but we have to do this. I'm sacrificing everything to save everyone in the whole realms. Stannis would do that, I feel like. Um, the night is dark and full of terrors, and I'm about to enter your... Night is... I'm about to enter your dark and full of terrors... Place, Melisandre. That did not... Okay, that... Okay, let's move away from that. 200 piety it costs. So we can do it two more times. So we can do it two more times. We need to do it three, though, yeah? One, two, three. So we need 150 more piety. Okay, we're going to need, we're going to need a bit more piety right now. How old's the other daughter? 12? Let's go to the 12-year-old then. She's a bit old. We're going to need... Oh, we got people in our jail cell. Yes, we need to burn. I need the power of the faith to help me. Melisandre... Uh, bring the wood. Bring the wood. We need fire. Burn them. I'm sorry again. This is what has to be done to save the realm. The needs of the many outweigh the few. This is literally win or die, basically. Win or die. Burn them. Okay, still need 120. <laughs> they didn't give me much piety in the end, did they? They didn't give me much piety at all. But okay, um, let's go back. Actually, do we need any plots? None of them have got any bigger. Um, do we look into the flames? We don't need to look into the flames. Okay, that's fine. So we're still trying to kill the sister. Hasn't popped up yet. My young courtiers finish her education. Okay. Marina Payne has done well. Uh, Conrad Payne has arrived at my court. Good for them. Now, I'm not seeing the pop. Okay, let's just change it again. See if it pops up. I'm not sure how long it's meant to take. Ready the men we go east. There we go. So that time it jumped up very quickly. And there we go. Another one is taken care of. We have enough for one more. I can kill one more of them. He got 40% there. Let's have a quick look. If I could actually pay someone to join. Maybe we... Because we're going to have to kill one without using Shadow Baby it seems. 11%. Yeah, 5%. We can get the Seaworths underneath us. I want the Seaworth underneath me as well. We'll kill him using the baby then. Come on, 200. What quality education would I like to purchase for my granddaughter, Janella Baratheon? Well, what can we afford? We can afford the top one, which I think Sanus would do for his granddaughter. There we go. We need the best for my children and grandchildren, potentially. Um, she also needs to choose a focus then. She likes intrigue and learning. We can't choose learning in the Game of Thrones mod, so we'll go for Intrigue. There we go. Okay, done with that. So, so I need the pop-up though. Justin has insisted on spending some time with you. Nope, just to make it, I don't want to spend time with you. I'm too busy. Congratulations to Justin have found Cross has bribed and threatened his way from my lands. Not a big deal. I just, I need these men. I have to do this. There was no other choice, everyone. I'm so sorry. Um, so I, no, I, I, I'm not to be a good quit of desire to know me better no i'm got i'm busy i'm the king i've got time for stuff you know Ugh. this has been one of those situations where davos would have tried to convince me not to do it but he's dead uh, i've grown increasingly attached to stalice and now our marriage is merely a practical arrangement i wonder if now it's one of love no don't concern myself with such trifles we have other things to deal with and it's not popping up again Ooh. Okay, she she's gotten married. It's not even betrothed. She's actually gotten married. Okay, we need to kill her. Whilst going out in the business of your realm, you've often overheard your courtiers gossiping about your relationship with Selyse. Um, Yeah, I have my ambitions. I need to save the realm. I need to do... I can't consider my wife when I need to save the realm. What are they talking about? Ridiculousness. And there we go. Another one. And this final one, this, this, this last one that I can actually do for now, I need another 100 piety. That one has pushed Stannis over the edge. All of this 
all of the stuff with Melisandre, you know, the knights together to make those shadow babies, it's taken it out of stance and he's gone over the edge. He's finally gone insane. It's cost us our health. We've used a lot of health. It's cost us our sanity. And it's even cost us my brother's family. This is what we do to save the realm. And what the... Conrad... That pain kid? Joffrey's kid? Wait. Were you... Yeah, it was matrilineal, wasn't it? What? The... No. Oh, he's in my court, though. He's in my court. I could just imprison him. And then kill him. But... Okay, and... He has king's blood. Well, I mean, Joffrey was a king until the Shattered Realms happened. But his grandfather's a king. Well, technically not, but we... we hmm, technically not, yeah. But Joffrey was a king for a little bit, you know, before the Shattered Realms happened. Technically, Conrad Payne has king's blood. Technically. So, we need that blood. Melisandre, again, you know, if only Davos was here, he'd take this boy away and save him somehow. But, I'm sorry, boy. You're mine. He's now safely locked away. And we've lost our jet. My insanity going this far, killing that many people through the Shadow Babies, going insane. I've lost my just trait. I no longer care. He is willing to do whatever needs to be done to save the realm. And we need to execute this child. I'm sorry, Rowena Payne. But he's going to inherit the Shipbreaker Bay. I need to burn him for his... A <gasps> hundred pie... That's, a... That's almost what I need. Okay, okay, we have to kill him. <laughs> we have to. It's the king's blood, I guess. And there we go. People are upset. People are outraged. But it had to be done. And I'm almost there. I almost have the piety. I just need a tiny bit more. How else could I get some piety? I could... I could burn someone else. I can't just keep burning my... <laughs> I just can't keep burning just random people in my court. That's going too far. That's going too far. They have to do something wrong first. Uh, dark wings, dark words. Lord Roderick of Ironrath. The foresters are now under attack. It's. I'm not. I would normally obviously click the go up north, but we're not going to because if I do join you, know, I could inherit Shipbreaker Bay at any time if we get that piety, and we have to declare the War for Dawn as soon as possible. So I'm not going to do it. 34. The longer we wait, the more men they're going to get. Danny uh, is still alive, apparently. She's a lunatic as well. Hey, we're lunatics together, Danny. Uh, Barristan Selmy is now dead. Sad for Barristan Selmy. But he had many kids, so at least they'll continue the legacy. I'm just trying to think about how we get some more piety. What could I do? How much am I getting? Two piety. That's going to take a bit of time to get 200. I don't have time. I mean, I do have a little bit of time, but I'm just worried if they get another big boost of men. That it could then be unstoppable. Uh, Grey Glen. Okay, we'll help people around the, rel the realm. I do still think that I'm the true king. And so even though I may not be able to help. Because I need all these men for the White Walkers. You know, kind of putting my hat in saying. I do not support that aggressive war. Shows that I kind of feel that, you know. I'm the authority of a king. And um, we can ask Wild not to join a faction. Which I will do. Not sure if he'll be accepting of that. Do not speak to me of obligations. Okay, he didn't like it. While carrying my duties for the Alchemist Guild, I have met Wisdom Nesta on several occasions. These encounters have never ended well. One would be hard-pressed to find a more unsympathetic character. I suspect he's spreading lies behind my back. I'll confront him. I must be patient. Yeah, I'll confront him. And reveals dishonest ways to the... Yeah, I think Stannis would confront him. People will be like, what the hell are you talking about? Stannis is not one for playing in the shadows. Kind of. But yes, uh, if I ever find out who broke into my laboratory, I will kill that vile crook. It seems as if I've made an enemy. For the intruder focus on destruction rather than theft. Damn them! Curses. 30 gold. Oh dear. Okay, I got just <laughs> just above. Your grace, I'd like to remind you of the gold the narrow sea owes my house, and thereby request that the coin owed be paid as soon as possible. Willis Tyrell, we owe you money. I need more time. I lose prestige. Yeah, I need more time. So now I have to pay back whatever I owe. I guess I must have maybe got that from Joffrey. Yeah, because I guess the King's Landing did owe money before, obviously, the Shattered Realm. So Joffrey owes that. Now I took the land, so I owe it. Mercy cried the thief when Sir Lancel confronted and accused him of being a robber. He's just a petty thief. So Lancel's wife does not look great. But Lancel, we could burn you. 
could burn. I'm, I'm going. I'm going mad with power. <laughs> I'm going. Oh, I could just ask him to leave court. Get out. Get out, Lancer. We'll leave you here for now. I'm improving the good reputation. Okay. So he's got my reputation up. Actually, so someone could get piety right now. She is trying to convert people of Sweetport Sound. Yeah, that is important. But she could get me some piety, potentially, perform charity. Local revolt risk. It's just if something happens, though. Piety gain 26%. You know what? Do that, then. Do it. Do some charity work, Melisandre. That's more important than converting right now. If you just get 25% chance of happening, if that happens, we can instantly kill that boy. And it will be mine. Shipbreaker Bay will be mine. The lovely borders will be mine. I'm hoping we can get that soon. I mean, either way, I guess we're going to get it soon. In one month. Yeah, I guess we're going to get... Okay, it didn't take that long to get it in the end, actually, anyway. So here we go, guys. We're almost there. I could almost taste the Shadow Baby. I can almost taste Melisandre. I mean, um, nothing. I, no one mentioned Melisandre. Kill him. Here we go. Come on, event. Where are you? I need this. I need these men. 6,000 men. I need these men right now. Anything else going on? Look into the flames? No, nothing like that going on. Um, oh, and we had a, another grandson, Grant Baratheon. Good job. I really am happy we're going to get the Sea Wolves underneath us. Oh, you know what? Let's cancel it. And then click on it. I'm happy to get them underneath us again because I was, I was upset when obviously Renly took them. So now we're going to be able to get them for our own. There we go. It's done. It's done. Guys, I, we crossed that barrier. It's cost Stannis everything. Re think about it. Um, think of all the health we've lost. Think he's lost his sanity. We got 13... F that's... That might not be enough, but it could almost be enough. You know, that... They've got 30,000 men. We know they can be defeated. Like, if I face, like, a 15,000 men with 13, I know we can beat them. I, I think we do it now, then, guys. This is what I've been waiting for. Then now, look at that. Look at those borders. We just connect up there, then connect these two. That's going to be some lovely borders right there. We just need to get these little bits in between as well. But that's not looking too bad. We could save this entire series right here and now. It, it cost me a lot, but let's see. What do I need to get rid of? Gailmont. So we got Gailmont. We're going to keep Storm's End, of course. Estamont, King's Landing. Sweetport, Sa Sweetport Sound or Estamont. What do we get rid of? I've got two kingdoms as well. Okay, we're going to get rid of Sweetport Sound and Gailmont. Yeah, who do I give them to then? Who's been good? So Obviously, my daughter's a lovely girl, but she doesn't deserve anything right now. He's got a small place. Uh, Durham of Grimport probably deserves something. And Humphrey Clifton. There was that other guy as well. But we're going to give Grimport something. He's now on the council. And he's he's been a good he's a good commander. We could give him Sweetport Sound. Yeah, he's a Westerosi Valerian. Let's give him that then. Sweetport Sound is yours, my good man. Welcome, Duram. And then we'll give that one to maybe Humphrey. He's a Westerman. He's not really a Stormlander, but we'll give it to him. Congratulations, you've kept me alive up to this point. <laughs> Which probably was difficult, considering I'm Stannis, but there we go. Humphrey Clifton of Gailmont. I mean, his name doesn't really fit the place. I mean, it's mountains. Okay, it kind of fits cliffs and mountains and stuff. There we go. I think that could work out. So, now we've got the domain site. we got the same size correct. We've got two kingdoms. I don't think I can get an empire. I need to have, I think, three for that. Yeah, we need three. How much do I need for the Stormlands? How much do I need for the Stormlands? Let's go have a quick look then. Uh, we'll click on that. No, no. Click on that. Um... De jure kingdom. What do we need to create this? 51%. I got 43%. We could almost get the Empire tier title, the kingdom titles. Then I could give out these separate titles. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So there we go. That could be a thing, but we need to beat the White Walkers, and I'm going to do it now. Well, actually, we'll give it a few seconds. We'll let time go by a little bit. We got a new court. We got a lot of new courtiers now. Um, yeah, we got a lot of new courtiers. Let's go over then. So currently, Mr. Wild is our. Hand of the King. Dale Seaworth would actually be pretty good. He's not bad. I want Dale... He doesn't like me. Dale Seaworth, you're Seaworth. Come join me. Come join me, Dale Seaworth. The Seaworths are back underneath us. His father was always a good man to me. Your brother is married to my daughter. Hopefully now you can see good things. He likes me now. Okay, we go. 
Master of Laws, Justin Macy. Obviously, Justin Macy should be. Master of Arms. Um, Loris Tyrell is underneath us. Oh, yes. Oh, we, should, we have some good fight here, Gaiad. Very nice. The green. I forget about this, but Loris Tyrell, Godri. Hmm, Master of the White Sword Tower. Maybe we should make it him. Loris or Godri? Which one? Godri I trust, so I'm going to make Godri, because he's not a vassal. I don't need to make it him. If it was a vassal, I'd make it him. We're going to make Godri. Okay, Master of Coin. Um, you are the best, but Wild is a vassal, so I'm actually going to make it the Wild. And Master of Whispers, you're now a vassal, so that's great. High Priest is fine. Melisandre, of course. We're going to keep Melisandre. Of course we are. We have to keep... She, she may be better, but Melisandre's Melisandre. You know, we got to keep it as that. Okay, train children. My kids would love you. But we may need you in the coming battle, yes. We're going to need you in the coming battle, Godry. Anyone else we might need? No, the others are fine. Oh, no, I was going to say improve defenses. We're going to go to war as soon as possible. We got a lot of bodyguards. Okay, let's go through. Let's make sure they're good enough. M on the yellow. He's a skilled fighter. He's not that great, though, but okay. We got Gaiad the green. He's not looking that great. I don't trust these guys. These, these, these are not. These are Renly's bodyguards. Lofa Brun. Loras the Nightflowers is a great commander. Formidable. Maybe we could see that he's good. Now, see, no one knows I killed... This is not the time where the suspicions may be against me. Renly does not know. They just all died mysteriously. <laughs> um, M on Q. Huh. You know what? Let's get rid of all the others. He won't like me if I get rid of it. Maybe we'll keep them for now. Okay, we'll, we'll keep them. You know what? Let's keep them. Let's keep them for now. We'll keep these flames. Let's do it, actually. You know what? There'll be our flames. We have a lot of flames right there. Let a little bit of time go by. 14,000 men. I told you this is possibly the only way. One more. Okay, let's do it. We're going to war now. I can't wait any longer. Uh, I feel like if we wait longer... 30, look at that. 38. We have to go. It's War for Dawn, everyone. The War for Dawn is about to begin. We sacrificed everything for this. Can Stannis win? We might, we're probably going to lose. They have a lot more men than we do, and people might not help us, so I will keep this in mind, guys. But I do feel like, because it cost us so much health, Stannis is 55. He could die at any point right now. He's gone insane. He could die at any point. So I think we have to do it now. And if he dies, I don't think we can win. And that'll be the end of the series, potentially. And I don't want that to happen. Damn it! Damn you, White Walkers! War for Dawn begins. The War for Dawn begins here, guys. Tell me in the comment section, do you think we can do it? Do you think Stannis can pull it off? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. But we'll keep the men here, and we'll come back next time. And we'll see. The War for Dawn begins. This is... This could be the battle to save the series, guys. This could be everything. And I'll see you then.